often. From the Lightning, we have Kevin Shattenkirk and Andre Palat. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question. Identify if your question is for Kevin or Andre. We'll start in the media center with Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Yes, question for Andre. Did, were you taken off? Uh, were you surprised by that pass that, that Kucherov got through to you on the power play? Um, not really. You know, I, I saw him do that a lot. So I, I, was, I was ready for it. Great pass. Next one in the media center, J.F. Shamat, Journal de Montreal. Question for Kevin. Can you talk a little bit about the character of Nikita Kucherov? For the first minute and the first period, it was a slow start for him. And then he did two amazing passes during the power play. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's, uh, he's elevated his game in, in many different ways. And I think, uh, you know, it wasn't even really a slow start for him. He had some, some pretty big plays defensively that he made, um, you know, and, and had a scary play where he ran into the boards there, got bumped in the neutral zone. But uh, we obviously know how dangerous he is on the power play, and, and it's something that he uses to, uh, to get himself going as well. So he um, did a tremendous job tonight staying with it and, and getting rewarded. Last one up top, Jason Hills. Tampa Bay Times. This question's for Kevin. Um, the power play uh, was definitely struggling uh, heading into this game, and, and you guys were able to get two uh, big goals. Was it a big relief, and, and was there starting to get a bit of frustration setting, setting in? Yeah, I don't think there was frustration. I think it was, uh, it was a matter of just looking at what we were doing and realizing that we needed uh, a little more movement, and, and obviously, just had to make a couple simple plays, and, and uh, you know those backdoor passes that you know, Cooch makes to, to Andre, th those open up once we start to get uh, our momentum going. So, you know, at this, this time of year, you can't really get frustrated. You just got to stick with it, wait for your next opportunity. And um, we obviously have the guys on, on this team who can uh, make you pay at any moment. Next question, Joe Smith, The Athletic. Yeah, this is for either of you guys. They obviously made a push to pull within one uh, later in the game. Yeah, I think you guys I shot him 11 to one right after that. What did you like about the way you guys responded or I guess what was the, the mood there? Um, you know, I think for us, we, uh, we had to fight off a couple penalties uh, in the second period and, and that got us out of our rhythm a little bit. But, um, you know, like you said, they, they're obviously going to make a push uh, when you, when you get up by three, you just have to make sure that you, you try to keep, playing the same game. Um, we don't want to sit back on leads. And uh, I'd like to have that second goal back that, that they scored and, and help Vazzy out there a little bit. But uh, I thought after that, you know, the guys, we, we banded together. We started making more plays, putting pucks in and, and hemming them in. And uh, we did a great job to, uh, to lock it down. Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Uh, Kevin, you guys haven't lost um, two in a row this entire playoffs, I don't think. What does that say about your resiliency and where do you get that resiliency from? Uh, you know, I think we, we believe in our group. We know that, you know, especially even in game one here, um, that that wasn't our brand of hockey. And I think we know that when we play that, that way and, and uh, we play our best game, it's hard for teams to, uh, to, to win. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, if, if we lose a game playing our best, um, we can deal with that. So, uh, like you said, no one no one gets down in the locker room. We have great leaders in the locker room, both uh, vocally and guys who lead by example on the ice. And I think uh, we just look at every every next game as an opportunity to uh, to get back on track. Rob Tichkowski, Post Media. Uh, scoring three goals is nice. Everybody knows that uh, Tampa is well equipped to do that. But being able to close out a one goal game over the over the final fifteen minutes, I mean, quite often that's how you win or lose a series. Is is that an element of of your team that maybe doesn't get as much focus because of all the high end talent that you have? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I think that's something that we um, we have done this year and, and something that we focused on, you know, during the regular season. Um, you know, we knew that for this time of the year. Um, like you said, you, you have to be able to lock those games down and teams are going to make those pushes and, and get within one. But uh, I think we, we just don't panic and, and we make sure that, you know, you realize when you have two, three goal leads, um, you know, you get that cushion and, and just play the right way and, and things will, uh, will turn out all right. So, you know, we have a lot of guys who play the right way and, and do the simple things. And, and those are the guys who go out, you know, in the last, uh, five minutes or so and have to make those hard plays and they do it well and, and know that they need to sacrifice whatever it takes for the team. 
Diana Miros, Tampa Bay Times. Hey guys, just how important was it to start off the way that you guys wanted to, to kind of maybe even send a little bit of a message to yourselves of, okay, we're here, we're playing our game, let's go. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was huge. You know, after the first game, we we know we got better, and uh, we know we know we know we we're gonna come out strong. We did, and uh, that's what I like about our team. We just we just stick together, and I thought we we fought hard this uh, this game. We'll do a couple more for the guys. Brian Compton, NHL.com. Yeah, Kevin, just to piggyback that question, that was the first time in seven games that you guys scored first. I know you overcame it against the Islanders, but is that a trend that just had to stop realistically for you guys to give yourselves the best chance to win this series? Thanks. Well, I think the goal every game is to score first and score the most. So, um, but again, I mean, I think if, if teams score first, we don't get down on ourselves. Um, you know, it's, it's the breaks of the game. And even against the Islanders, we would respond quickly and, and, you know, get that, that game tied up and go from there. But, um, you know, it's, it's not something that's weighing on our minds coming into, at least coming into tonight's game. And um, like I said, I feel like we, when we play our game uh, and we put that pressure on teams, you know, we can score early and we can score often. Ken Campbell, Hockey News. You have a question, Ken? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware that my hand was up. Sorry about that, guys. No problem. We'll give it to Eric Erlinson, Lightning Insider. Yeah, for Andre, on the power play, what's, what's the importance of making sure there's some different looks, right? Not, not getting stale and maybe relying too much on the point shot where you get the bumper play there to Braden to get the cross scene pass to you to make sure that you're, you know, not being predictable. I mean, like Shadi said, we, we just need to keep it simple. We need to shoot a puck. And as soon as we start shooting puck, the, the play is going to open up. I thought we, we did a good job with that. And uh, that's how we scored, you know, Kuch, Kuch uh, made them two great passes. But like I said, just keep it simple, shoot the puck, and uh, those plays are going to open up. Kevin, thanks a lot for the time. We're just going to do one and check here yeah. for uh, Andre. Sure. Zdenek, TV Nova Sport, go ahead. Ondro, skvělý západ znova. Uh, Ondro, od dnešním skvělém začátku, lepším než to milé. A prvním gólu podle je v době střesilovky. Pak přišel tvůj gól po té nádherné kombinaci. Co dodat k tomu gólu a kombinaci s Hedmanem a Kučem? Tak pár zápasů jsme nedali gól z přesilovek. Věděli jsme, že musíme být lepší. A měli jsme super začátek. Dali jsme rychle dva góly, což pomohlo týmu. A jsem moc rád, že nám to tam padlo. Je to, je to, je to super pro tým. Thanks, Andre.